हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टूटोरियल्स पॉइंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द रोल ऑफ कैल्शियम इन मसल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन कैल्शियम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू स्टार्ट द मसल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन लेट्स सी हाउ नाउ वी नो मसल्स डज नॉट वर्क ऑल द टाइम एक्सेप्ट द कार्डियक मसल विच वर्क ऑल द टाइम विदाउट गेटिंग टायर ऑल अदर मसल्स नीड्स अ रिलैक्सेशन टाइम और दे रिलैक्सेज ऑल द टाइम बट दे वर्क वेन इट नीडेड नाउ to make them relax there must be a system which can off this system now we know that at the time of muscle contraction there is a complex formation between the myosin head and the actin now to stop this complex making there must be a off system this off system is by the troposin which is a protein and get connected or i can say it blocks the binding site on actin as it bind it blocks the binding site myosin head will not able to bind with this actin protein or uh, actin binding site now when the muscles need to contract at that time what happens at the time our hero our calcium comes it binds with the troponin troponin a other protein which is directly attached to the tropomyosin now when this calcium and troponin complex is formed then they remove the tropomyosin from the active site here you can see this is the active site the red line the tropomyosin is on active site but when a calcium and troponin complex is formed then they remove the tropomyosin from the binding site then a myosin head is easily attached to the binding site now next question is here first of all let's see these red spaces or the gaps are actually the myosin head binding site this is a process when calcium comes and attaches to the troponin so that tropomyosin is removed from the binding site here when the muscles are in relaxed state when they are in relaxed state the binding site is covered by the tropomyosin or blocked by the tropomyosin now let's see here it is this is our sarcoplasmic reticulum which releases the calcium now calcium is attached to the troponin which removes the tropomyosin now myosin head is attached with its adpn pi and the muscle contraction starts now how this calcium is released actually when a impulse come to the muscle now this muscle impulse comes to the top layer that means the sarcolemma from sarcolemma the impulse comes to the sarcoplasm through a extended part called as t tubule now when the impulse come to the sarcoplasm then from this part sarcoplasm impulse goes to the sarcoplasmic reticulum which is the storehouse of calcium now from this storehouse when impulse come it releases calcium now from this side calcium goes to the binding site where already the binding site is blocked so now calcium removed that removed that blockage and start the process of muscle contraction now we can see in full step when impulse come impulse makes the sarcoplasmic reticulum to release calcium now this calcium attached to the troponin to remove the tropomyosin from the binding site now as the now binding site is free myosin head is attached to the binding site and the muscle contraction start and muscle get contracted so in this video we have learned about the importance of calcium in muscle contraction i hope you understand the concept thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning